The age-old question asked by millions, who's getting the best head? Now, scientists have asked themselves this for years, decades, centuries, millennials, millennies, melanies, and they still can't come up with the answer. But today, I'm going to be talking about it about who really is getting the best head. Alvin, Theodore, or Simon. The three parties, the Alvinists, the Theodorians, and the Simonists. It's time to settle this. Now, I can say with confidence that anyone who's a Simonist can automatically get out of this video, can just leave, because Simon, it's obvious that he's not getting the best head. Look at him, he's cringing. He is cringing at how bad he's getting the head. Now that the Simonists have clicked off, it's time to talk about the two real contestants, the two competitors, the two main parties of this whole debate, Alvin and Theodore. It's between the Alvinists and the Theodorians. I first want to start off by maybe reading the sides of the Theodores and the Alvins. I also want to learn what the girls' names are, so let me search that up really quick. The Chivettes, what the fuck? Brittany, Jeanette, and Eleanor. Who the fuck are they, though? Brittany is Alvin's girl. Jeanette is Simon's. And then Eleanor is... What's his face? Theodore's? Yeah, Theodore's. Eleanor is Theodore's. Jeanette's is Simon's. And Brittany is Alvin's. Alright, now that that's out of the way, we already got the names. And I can no longer call them Alvin's bitch. Alright, now I'm gonna read a post from someone arguing that Theodore could be getting the best head. And another one bites the dust. You are 0 for 6, Popeye. Yeah, yeah, I can count. You know that means you suck. Yep, I can read too. So, it says here, Theodore packs some meat, so it's likely to take up more space and have more surface area touching the inside of her mouth. Alvin looks like he is having the time of his life, but he tends to be a more hedonistic person. So this is likely average for him, which takes away any extraordinary sensations. Simon is a possible candidate, but when you think about it, given how skinny he is, his dick is probably long and skinny. So most of Eleanor's mount, maybe he means, so most of Eleanor's mount would not even touch the middle most part of his shaft. Theodore. Given his girth and his GF's largest mouth, is likely receiving the best head that anyone will ever receive, and evidently deserves it for packing so much meat with him and always listening to his homies when they need it most. Now I am going to read a reply to this post defending Alvin's honor. That nigga Alvin doing the Jordan though, what the actual fuck. I will agree. Theodore, probably even being the little virgin little squirrel bitch he is probably has never gotten head in his life all right he hasn't even touched his little chimp dick because he's too innocent to do it himself so i can definitely agree that he might be getting the best head disclaimer the following essay does not reflect my personal beliefs and is a mere preposition that contrasts with the no okay that doesn't matter so when asking the question who is getting the best head it is important for us to disregard the chipmunks and chipettes personalities and characteristics from the equation we do this to avoid confounding variables that would otherwise make it harder to come up with a clear answer. Since we are examining a still image, we can only form our inclusions based on body language. While most interpretations of this image claim that Theodore is getting the worst head, I would like to propose an alternative viewpoint, Theodore is actually post cum. His body appears to be in a state of ecstasy that is oftentimes associated with orgasms. His being in a state of post cum is evident by his looser, more relaxed arms and legs. This contrasts deeply with Alvin and Simon's bodies, which show a tension that is not present in their brother. Alvin appears to be reaching a climax. The positioning of his eyes and legs, coupled with the fact that he is firmly grasping the couch or key, indicators that give this claim a solid leg to stand on. A major point that many Simonists like to mention is that Simon is holding on to Jeanette's head, thus taking charge of the situation and being more in control of the head that he is getting. 
This school of thought inherently implies that Simon has not came yet and is having to take control of the situation in order to reach an orgasm. His body language also clearly shows that he is neither feeling the joyous relaxation of post cum or the excitement of coming. If we were to make the assumption that the best head would be the one that makes the person on the receiving end come the fastest, we would be able to conclude that the order of best head is Theodore, Alvin, Simon. Theodore is getting the best head because he has already came and Eleanor merely finishing up. Alvin is in a close second because he appears to be getting ready to come. Meanwhile, it's obvious that Simon is actually getting the worst head because he is not close to coming and is resorting to having to take control, which is a clear sign of bad head. I already told you these Simonists are whack, right? They're weak. It's obvious he's not getting the worst head. I mean, best. Shit. So here's a second post that claims that Theodore is getting the best head. Clearly, Theodore is getting the best head. He's likely a virgin and more sensitive than the others. No, it's got to be Alvin. This man is gripping onto the couch and screaming. It is well known that Alvin is overdramatic and he's a player so he's going to be used to having chipettes on his tidy rotten and penis and not be easy to pleasure. But he hit in the Theodore got best creepy suck. LMAO, no one cares for Simon. That's what I'm saying! I really want to find an Alvin one. One that defends Alvin, and not just the one I said earlier, which was that the Alvin doing the Jordan though. Wait, it appears that we are getting now some urgent breaking news from our local news channel. What is up, Fetty Gang? I'm your host, Fetty FedEx. Let's get right into the news. The Theodorian convention has been shot up. The shooter himself has yelled out, On God, if the Alvin is getting the best head. Many believe that it was the Simonists who sent out the hit because they were never the ones chosen first to be getting the best head and are trying to make it seem like it was the Alvinists who were the ones who sent the attack. Others think it was Alvinist who called the attack because they think they want to eliminate the competition by taking out all the Theodorians there are existing on this planet. In other news, I was able to come in contact with two other people who were available for an interview about who is getting the best head. Here's that footage now. So, you know, you heard it, you've seen the image, who's mm. getting the best head. Yeah. Alright, here, I'll... I'll put it in the server again if you want me to. Doesn't matter if you want me to, I'm doing it anyway. Just so you can see again yeah. and decide. Mm. Good look at it. Alright. Decide who you think, in your opinion, is getting the best head. I don't know. Alvin's got the freaky one. Simon's kind of a wimp, so he's, he's not getting caught. Yeah, he's automatically disqualified. I yeah. already, um, already thought that. Okay. You see, Theodore, his girl has the biggest cheeks, like, like back and front. So mm -hmm, she's mm -hmm. top tier. Yep. That. Mmm. Alvin, man, looks like he's getting the best top. Why you say that? And look at his expression. Man's holding his hand in the back. That's how he knows, it's rough. He's in the Jordan, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's in so, the back of the park. So, are you an Alvinist? Yeah, I'm going to go with Alvin. You're going with Alvin? Alright, alright. No, uh, no, no, no. I hate Alvin. I'm going with uh, my man. Theodore. Theodore? Is mm. it because his girl's got the best cheeks? Mm hmm. That's why? Yeah. Alright, alright. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. No problem. Now, can we call the monkey? Very intriguing argument. Now, here's the second interview that I have conducted. Kabooga. What's up, nigga? <laughs> Don't fucking curse. <laughs> That's a lot of editing I have to do. You just said it, go. Shut up. You see the image, right? Yeah. You got it. It's on the Discord. What are yeah. you? Who do you think's getting the best head? Fucking Theodore. Why? Uh, uh, hold on. Let me, let me look at the video. Right there. <laughs> like... Stop saying the N-word! Oh, sorry. Background music. No. It's just, it's, uh, we don't okay. need any now! It could be in post okay, editing. Okay. 
post. Okay, Red. okay. Red. Okay! Okay, post. look at Theodore, bro. Look at Theodore. I first of all, okay, first of all, his his, his, his thought is mad thick. And okay. wetter than an oyster. It's moisture. Yeah. Than, she's moisture than an oyster. Yeah. And bro, look, he's screaming at the top of his lungs like, dude, like, I bust a nut in your lips. All right, so what, what do, do you think, think about the counter argument to that? Of people saying that he could just be sleeping, that he could be getting the worst head ever, that he just wants to sleep through it. Ah, uh, but who sleeps like that with their mouth open, with their peens out? Dude, <laughs> uh, Tio's, dude, uncles, drunk people. Come on. What oh. if he's drunk? What if he's? What if he just came back from a night out with the other Theodore Reds, huh? And he's like, you know, all I right, don't got time right. for this. I'ma just sleep. Okay then, the, probably then the next option is um Simon. You're saying Simon over Alvin. Alright, what for? Alvin is Alvin Alvin's grabbing the I grabbed the couch like a little beach. He can't handle it. Look at, okay, okay, okay. Look at, um yeah, And look he's grabbing to his peen he's grabbing to his peen too, like he's like, no, hop off this peen, bruh. Alright. And then it's Simon, dude, he's grabbing the thought's head to like push down on it so he can get uh, -huh. uh like the vacuum seal. All right, all right, okay. So, so, you know, final answer. What would you say you are? Simon. You're Simon. Yeah. Even though your original answer was a Theodore. Yeah, but I, I I'm, I'm, st I'm staying with Theodore to be honest. Theodore or Simon. Theodore, you stupid. How can you just switch right up on Simon like that? That's kind of fake. <laughs> Uh, you're fake. But anyway. Anyway, that's all the news we have for today. Very tragic. I hope everything gets better and that the Theodorians get the justice they deserve. Fetty Gang now at 32 subscribers. Oh no, that's tragic. It is the United States after all. What can you expect? I would like to say that it is very difficult to find an argument claiming that Alvin is getting the best head. The ones that I have heard from local sources and personal sources are that Alvin is doing the Jordan. But also, a counter to that is that he tends to overreact, which is definitely true. So I have to come up with my own claim that Alvin is getting the best head. Now this is not a biased thing. I am not saying that he is getting the best head. I am just presenting evidence that he might be getting the best head. First. I want to go back to the original question. Who's getting the best head? If we take that sentence and break it down and actually analyze it closely, you can see that the word getting is involved. In order for someone to get something, someone else must be giving it. So in reality, this question has nothing to do with the experience of getting head. It's all about how good one of the chipettes give it. And I can say with confidence again, we can clearly rule out Simon's chick, whatever her name is, Simon's bitch. Because just like Simon has probably never gotten head before, or maybe once or twice, but probably out of pity, she, Eleanor, I think, or is it Jeanette, has probably also never given head before. So that's an obvious rule out, that's a no, and that's automatically eliminated again. If you're still a Simonist watching this, what are you doing? What are you doing? If we talk about Theodore's chick though, Eleanor, one can argue that because of her size and her ability to gobble full course meals in the matter of seconds, would be easy for her to gobble up Theodore's nuts in a matter of milliseconds. You already know that the minute that that went inside her mouth, it's already gone through her whole digestive system two times. And you can tell by Theodore's face, he's already been knocked out from it. But here's another counter argument. She could be giving the wackest head ever that Theodore just decided to sleep on her. But really, we don't know what's happening because like the, like the past post I read, we can only tell from body language and still images. So, you know, we don't know if he's actually sleeping or if he's in post night. Now to defend Alvin, to claim that he's getting the best head, obviously it's about his chick. It's about Britney here. Internet sensation, Britney, Britney. Now Alvin being the alpha of the group, obviously got the most alpha chimpmunk to get head from, right? Cause you don't see Britney fucking with no Theodore's or no Simons, all right? She's going for the top dog, the leader, the captain. 
the shot caller here all right because she knows her abilities to give head and she knows that hers is worthy for the alpha of the group alvin's doing the jordan and he's got the most alpha chick which is probably a good reason on why he's doing the jordan right because she knows she can give the good sloppy toppy the good neck and the best head all right now theodore it is unclear that he's either sleeping or he's knocked out from the fact that theodorette has been gobbling up his dick so fast that he has no time to even open his eyes anymore. And Simon and Simonette is an automatic disqualification, right? We all know he's getting the worst head. There's nothing that's ever going to defend him. So in conclusion, I would like to say that in order to figure out who's getting the best head, we need to figure out how good the chipettes are giving the head. Because getting the best head is not about how it feels, but how well the chipette does it. A quick example, if there was a rich kid who got a $50,000 tuition, a $50,000 scholarship to a college of his choosing, and there was a poor kid who only got a $10,000 scholarship of his choosing, which one would be the best? Now even though the rich kid is already used to all the money, $50,000 is still the best offer he could get, even to the poor kid. Now the poor kid, since he's not really familiar with that much money, $10,000 seems like a lot to him. That mental image can is, is related to this image, because since Simon's not really used to getting head, nor is Theodore, they think that they're getting the best experience of their life. While Alvin, he can be the rich kid of this scenario, even though he's already used to it, right? He probably gets head 50 times a day, but that does not exclude the fact that he could still be getting the best one yet right now. Just cause he's used to it, doesn't mean he's not getting the best one. It just means he's already grown on it. it like it's already grown on him. You know, there's something I need to say. I've been having this pill throughout the whole video, this pill that can let me figure out which Chipmunk is actually getting the best head. So let me get some water really quickly right here. All right, let me get the pill. Okay, and I'm gonna drink this. And you guys are finally gonna get to know which chipmunk is getting the best head, all right? Oh my God, I can, I can already feel it. The knowledge, my brain is expanding, it can't, it's, guys, before I leave, I need to tell you which chipmunk's getting the best head, it, it, it's, it's, it. Reports say that a young boy, a boy by the name dead. of FedEx, most has been likely due to poison. Dude, what do you think happened to him? I don't know, dude. You know, you know maybe he got poisoned. Yo, what if he got taken to Area 51? One. One. We're willing to wipe the slate clean. And all that we're asking in return is your cooperation. Wow, that sounds like a really good deal. But I think I got a better one. How about I give you the finger? The world may never know.